good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the capacity of a slice. And it's one of those things that we didn't really talk about when we first introduced slices in the previous video, but now we in a position to look sort of deeper into the internal of a slice and see how the capacity plays into being able to re-slice a slice. And this also sets up us, sets up us, sets us up for Oh, that's a tongue twister. Sets us up for looking at how to dynamically create slices, append them, and so on, and copy slices, or you know, combine slices. So let's look at the code. So here I'm sitting in the directory, and basically what I did was I copied the last um, session directory to five, and I started the code editor. So this is exactly the code that we left off with the last time. I didn't change it yet. So today we're going to talk about more internals of um, slices and we want to see specifically we want to talk about capacity. So there's this built-in function called capacity and so to get a feel for it let's just do let's just kind of um, run it and see where we have. So let's do um, nums and capacity of nums. So let's do capacity of nums array and so that's going to look like percentage v Access n is just a number, so we're going to do cap, and we're going to put nums in there. The other thing we want to do is let's look at the capacity of some of our slices. So we're going to do slice zero, for example, and then slice one, and of course uh, slice two and three. So two. Two, three. I really want to compare and see what kind of results we get. And then let's just do go run main. And so what we see is the capacity of num is 10, but that was a 10 element array. So hmm, the length and the capacity is the same. And we can get to what the capacity is after we start playing with this a little bit. Um, capacity of slice zero, which remember this is a slice of the entire array, that's also 10. The capacity of slice 1, which was the lower half, or the first half of the array, the capacity is 10. But then look at slice 2, which is the upper half of that array. The capacity here is 5. And then, interestingly, the capacity of slice 3 is 7. So to kind of, kind of understand what's going on here, let's go to our presenta slide presentation here. And so we know that when you create a slice, for example, let's take this slice, where you start at offset three and you go up to um, say index three and you go up to seven we know the length of that slice is four and more interestingly we know it so once you create a slice of array it's sort of like a projection of view into that array so you only get into see part of the array and so this is what your indexing look like now for that slice notice it's very different than the index for the array itself because now the slice is just a projection into uh, that underlying array. But there's more to that underlying array. There, there are the elements that come before it and the elements that come after it. And we also know that if you try to use a negative number, well, that doesn't work on the slice because it's just like an array. You can try to access those earlier, um, those previous elements. And you can use um, index greater than three because that would be out of bounds also. But there's still this idea that this is the capacity, and we said it just now when we run the capacity function on slice 3, it said it was 7. So that's where the 7 came from. It, the capacity is from the, in the beginning of that slice to the end of the underlining array. So that's where we can see that all this slice, that's where you can see that all the slice here is 7. The capacity here is 7 for the slice 3. And um, so if we want to complete this picture of what does the internal of a slice look like, it looks like this. It's a pointer or some reference to the underlining array, the offset where it starts from, the length of that array um, slice, and the, the capacity, and the capacity being from where it starts to the end of that slice. So really and truly, that bar should kind of look like this. Um, it, that is the capacity of the slice. So it's not what we were thinking about um, before. And we could revisit some of our previous slices. So like zero, we can see 
the length of it is the entire array and so is the capacity of it. Um, when we look at slice one, we see the length is still five, but there is the, the, the capacity. The capacity run the whole length of the array because the starting offset of that slice is from the zero into the underlying array. So of course the capacity is um, the full length of that array. And then now this makes sense why the capacity here is five because the offset here starts from five and that continues to the end of the array. Now, um, let's go back now to look at our code because there's some things that we can do. Since we know that though for a slice that has um, a capacity greater than a length, there are more elements there um, that we can access. It's just that we can't access choosing the slice. But one of the things we can do and let's do it this way. I'm going to paste this and just save me from typing. And so you can see I created a new slice called four, slice four, and I'm reslicing slice three. Notice I didn't use number here as the, the thing I'm reslicing. I'm actually reslicing slice three. And I'm saying from the very first offset of slice three to the capacity of slice tree. Notice if I tr actually try to access, like if I start to do f print ln and I do s3 square bracket and I do four or even the capacity of s3, s3, and I try to print that out, that is going to fail because I'm gonna have out of bounds. The capacity, as we said before, of s3 is seven. We saw that here, capacity of f3 is seven. So I will be trying to access something at S37 and we know we don't have something at S37 because the length of S3 is just four. So accessing something at index seven would mean that we need at a minimum an eight element slice and we don't have that. And so that's why we have index out of bounds here. But yet I can reslice. So that's, we know that's wrong, but yet I can reslice this S3 using the capacity which we know is seven. So we're saying basically zero to seven of the underlying array. So when you resize a size, you're actually saying resize the underlying array. But this can be a negative number. So I can put zero here, I can put one, you know, up to, um, of course, six, for example. But I cannot, cannot use minus one to say, oh, since I'm realizing the underlying array, I can go to negative one. That is not allowed. As you can see, the capacity of how much basically this slice can grow to the maximum is seven. So when we reslice S4 now this way, we get the rest of the underlying array, which is this. And you can see it's the same thing here. And so let's just rerun this code now and we should see that. And so yeah, when I reslice um, four, it's the same as if I was pointed to index three and I go to the end of the array. And we can kind of revisit our um, thing here and we can see that um, well, we covered that already. So here we're looking when we slice S3, we, if S3 has the capacity of seven and now when we slice S3 to give us S4, slice four, and we say colon um, zero colon the capacity which is seven we're actually saying you know give us from zero one two three four five six and you could think of seven being off here because we always know when we do a slice the ending number is the one uh, is beyond the one beyond the, the, the index where we can access okay so does that make um, sense so now we have zero to six as our valid index on S4. And basically, this now sets us, us to understand a few more things about slices and other ways you can create them once you understand the capacity. And so if we go back a bit um, to when we had that first slice here that had only the first lower half of the array, but at a capacity of 10, which is the rest of the array, we could have re-sliced from that to get any other part of um, the array essentially. Uh, we could, because that one 
had the capacity of the rest of the array. Um, of course, the one that the, the, the slice that was the whole array, of course, we could keep reslicing that too, because that pretty much was a mirror of the underlying array. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to try and keep this video short so there's not too much for you to um, try to understand, um, to keep in mind. So basically, to, re to review, we use capacity to tell us the amount of um, remaining space more than the length of the area that's available. And so the capacity for a slice could be different than the length of the slice. But notice that for an array, it's always going to be the same. So when we did the capacity of nums, the array, it was the capacity and the length was always the same. And so that's why it's not really interesting to take an array and really look at the capacity because it's always going to be the length of the array. So you might as well deal with the length. But slices, on the other hand, because they can point to arrays that are much longer than you're actually seeing, it's interesting to be able to say, well, what else is there towards the end of the array that I can access and be able to resize? And this is going to make sense when we talk about, you know, appending to a slice and copying slices and so on. So I hope hopefully that makes some sense. You learn something new. Um, we we'll of course continue playing with slices. They're very powerful. They're a little, there's more to the story of slices. So we're going to keep going and take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for your time and good day.